My name is Nicole Reed. I'm one of the registered nurses and board certified clinical toxicologists here at the National Capital Poison Center. I'd like to talk to you today about what can happen to you if you swallow a button battery and especially what can happen to small children. Button batteries are a high risk because they are everywhere and children are curious and everything goes in the mouth. These batteries should be treated like any other poison. They have the potential to cause great harm in children. The cases that I'm going to talk about today are typical of button battery ingestions and illustrate the severe outcomes that can occur when a child swallows a battery. The first one is of a four-year-old who the battery was swallowed and the parents didn't realize it. The ingestion was completely unwitnessed. It wasn't until the child was found an unknown time after the ingestion, unconscious and with blood in her mouth, that the parents had realized that anything was wrong. 911 was called and the child was transported to the emergency room. She did not have a pulse and she was not breathing at that time. CPR was performed and the child was revived. She was x-rayed and they found a button battery lodged into her esophagus. They brought her back to the operating room immediately, but unfortunately she had a hole that had burned from the battery all the way through the esophagus and into her aorta, and the child bled to death in the operating room on the operating table. The second case is also another case of severe injury with the ingestion of a button battery. A 10-month-old child ingested a button battery that she had removed herself from a singing card. The ingestion was not witnessed by the parents and the child seemed fine until dinner time when she started to eat and when the parents were feeding her the child started to gag and vomit and choke. The child was brought to the emergency room with the complaint of choking and the doctors did an x-ray right away. Unfortunately, what they found, or what they thought they found, was a coin stuck in the esophagus. So they made arrangements for her to have this coin removed. While they were waiting for the physician to come in to remove the battery from the child's esophagus, she started having difficulty breathing. So they did another x-ray to see if the coin had moved. And when they did that second x-ray and they looked at it a little bit closer, they realized that it was actually a button battery and not a coin. They rushed the child into the operating room. And by this time, about nine hours had gone by from the time of her initial symptoms to the removal of the battery. Uh, the child continued after, after the removal to have difficulty breathing and um, was wheezing a lot and actually required a tracheostomy to be placed. This is an incision in the windpipe to allow a tube to be placed so that the child can breathe. This remained in place for seven months until the injury could heal and when the injury was finally healed, the tube could be removed and the child could again breathe on her own. If I had one tip for a parent who thinks their child may have swallowed a button battery, I would say the first thing you should do is call the Poison Control Center, the National Battery Ingestion Hotline at 202-625-3333. Don't induce vomiting and don't give the child anything to eat or drink. Talk to us first and we'll tell you exactly what to do.